All right, we've turned our temperature down on our wahia pepper sauce, and our rice is, there's just a little hint of feta in there. Most of it is incorporated into the rice. And our chicken should be just about done, so let's turn the heat off all of our burners and turn our oven off. And we'll start in with our rice. Grab it so we have some nice pieces of tomato and spinach. Also, if there's any specks of feta, try and get them up on the top so that they're visible. And we're going to make a little mold here. Keep our sauce in. Then we'll go back into the oven. And you can see the chickens cooked very nicely. And we'll scoop this out. along with any mushrooms that may have fallen out or that we had placed on top earlier. And then we'll give our pepper sauce another swirl. Now this sauce with one pepper and a half a cup of orange juice should be very sweet. And if there is any spice, it should be at the back of the throat instead of in the front. So each bite you'll be able to taste something again instead of it's hot and then you can't taste anything after that. And so we're going to scoop oh, sorry, our sauce right over the top. And here we have our spinach, tomato, and feta rice with our chicken in an orange and wahia pepper sauce.